With almost 6 million people living with HIV and over 300,000 dying from AIDS-related illnesses each year, South Africa needs an intervention. Stigma is one of the biggest barriers, which is why some brave, positive heroes are speaking out. The moment I found out I was HIV positive I was in 1999. I was 27 years old. It was a pretty dark day uh, of my life. Um, I remember the doctor telling, uh, telling me after asking her, how long do I have to live? And her saying, but I don't know, a year, possibly five. It was quite terrifying, to say the least. Brett bravely chose to disclose his status to his family a week later, a diagnosis they struggled to accept. As so often happens, Wussy first discovered she was HIV positive after giving birth. That was 13 years ago. The moment I found out that I was HIV positive, it was in 1999. I didn't even know that I was HIV positive because you will remember that HIV was associated with um, being thin, looking sickly and all those things. So I assumed that I, was, I wasn't HIV positive. And I just had a baby and she had to be tested, um, including um, HIV test. And that's how they discovered that she was HIV positive. And that meant I was HIV positive. Wussy's baby succumbed to complications associated with the disease nine months later. Unable to cope with the tragic loss, her partner committed suicide, leaving Wussy shattered and alone. When she died, that's when I realized that I needed to do something about HIV. Because look, I wasn't just going to um, sit and wait for my dying day. HIV had robbed me of my child and I needed to expose it. Passionate about living positively, Brett and Busi are dedicated to creating awareness through the Positive Heroes organization. Positive Heroes was created because in South Africa we still lose a thousand people a day to HIV and much of that can be avoided as HIV is a manageable disease and we believe that stigma and discrimination act as a barrier that prevents people from testing and accessing the treatment that they need. Brett is involved in numerous community projects geared towards overcoming the denial around HIV and has shared his story with over 130,000 students. The emotional part is quite an important piece after finding out. And I was fortunate enough to have met a doctor who invited me to Shabbat dinner to celebrate the good news of my supposed test result. I remember arriving at her house that evening and I looked in her eyes, looking for that, you know, that sign that I didn't have it. And I remember, you know, not a word was said in that distance, and there it was. I had it. And by the time I got up to her at her front door, the first thing that she did was she grabbed me and she hugged me. And I think that was the, that was the moment which made me realize I didn't need to jump off Table Mountain or do something stupid, because many people go through that moment of, now what? She was the angel in my life that made me realize that I didn't need to jump off. Brett's partner Roger has been instrumental in encouraging him to share his positive message. For Busi, it's her son Bongi who motivates her to make a difference. When I found out about my HIV status, Bongi was seven years old. I was scared for him. Losing my baby came as a big blow. And I remember feeling suicidal. But then I thought of him, that there was him to look after and take care of. So I can easily say that he gave me my life. <laughs> There's more to life than sitting in the corner feeling sorry for yourself and thinking that you're dying. Um, I still need to get my first um, Aston Martin. <laughs> From my experience, most people talk about not being able to talk to anybody about their disease and that's really dangerous because by keeping a secret like HIV it's just as deadly as the virus itself. Number one, don't give up and I think that's the most important thing that I learned in my journey after a doctor told me a year you know, back in 1999, that was the reality versus today, 
you can live in excess of 30 odd years, um, what they're calling a, a chronic manageable disease. I'd call that hope. It really has changed the way that I live with this disease. I want to live the best life.